know, friends, if I were to deliver the line, nobody sleeps when I'm awake, people would say, <laughs> shut up, Terry. In the case of the sounds, Maya Iverson, when she delivers the line, it's got a little bit more punch. Let's just put it that way. In town to play a little rock and roll tonight here at In The Venue. This is Maya Iverson. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank Thanks you so for much. spending some time with us. I was just about to say thank you so much for having me here. Oh, thank for you. sure, for sure. Congratulations on back out. You're cranking it out as we were talking about the years passing and a little more rest on the road, but yeah. you still give it the same energy every night. How do you summon it after after a lot of shows? Oh, I think it's... Uh, I think it's more fun than ever in a way because uh, we have so many great songs to pick from, which is a, a little bit of a problem sometimes, but it's it's a good problem to have. Um, and it's really heartwarming to realize that we have such a solid fan base yeah. over here and they're so dedicated and devoted to our band and every show has been amazing. It really has been. So I'm loving it as always. That's great. Talk about having a large catalog to draw from. Do you guys have philosophical conversations about different songs, maybe songs that are from earlier in your career, things like that, that that pop up once in a while? Are there songs that are off limits? Yeah, definitely. There's a couple <laughs> of songs that none of us really like so much, right. but the fans still request them. But then again, we got to have a little bit of saying in this. So there's a couple of songs that we don't want to play anymore. Um, but we do try to mix it up and make it fairly even um, throughout the, all the five albums. But still, we're here to promote the latest album. So obviously, we're going to play um, a few more from that one. But yeah, um, we really do try. I think that is the the thing though i think live performances should be for the audiences for the audience because i if i want to sing the songs that i only want to hear i can do that back home right. so we got to play it for the fans absolutely that's really cool so you're six months or so into the latest record being out and, and so. the songs being road tested are they still changing do you A feel different things bit. from night to night oh man uh yeah some of them a little bit, but most of it, I would say, we don't experiment too much. We don't, because I think you should not, especially uh, the really old songs that people have took to the heart and made those songs their own. If you mess them up too much, you're kind of messing up with their memories. Getting and their, into people's heads. Yeah, yeah. and I, I don't think you should do that. I think you should keep it quite simple and straightforward as it is from the beginning, um, but then just deliver it really good and with a lot of heart and soul into it so yeah feels good though so you guys have been a touring band very strongly really for your entire career as we were talking a little bit before we came on camera here 2014 is an interesting time to be in this sort of meta world of people tweeting all the time i'm sure you see a lot of of phone cameras pointed yeah. at you while you're performing. Talk about what it's like to be a, a rock and roller and kind of live in this this world that seems a little disjointed from that. It is kind of weird to realize that what I'm doing every night on stage is being in the moment. And I think that is uh, the key of, of owning a crowd and making them feel at home is to be right there right now and it's the best feeling for me i love it and it's sad to see that there's a lot of people not living in the moment they're doing everything but living in the moment so it's a little sad to see but i also think the audience do appreciate seeing or looking at us or, or checking us out when we're playing to realize oh man they're really doing it right here right now so i hope i can teach them a little bit something about that so yeah it is a weird time right now it really is it really is i have to agree How's the tour going? Very well, very well. Because um, I am so proud. I mean, I think like every band, you want to grow and become more successful for each album. But then again, I'm so grateful. We've been in a band since 1998, and we've been putting out five albums, and we can still sell out fairly big venues, even though it's not like Abnorma Dome every night. Right. It's still fairly big venues and uh, we can go to many places around the world and have a really loyal big crowd and that is very I'm very grateful for that and thankful talk a little bit about that connection because you are a great example of a band that people are super super loyal to yeah. and turn out I mean I can I can say in my social media world of looking at the wall on Facebook today that a lot of people a lot of my friends were excited to come to the show tonight that's so cool is that 
does it get deeper over the years as as you have all of these experiences and you look out in the audience and see maybe more range of ages because you got your old fans and new fans as well? Yeah, I have to say, and it's a little different from what, what, what country we are in as well. Um, but over here, we have a big um, Hispanic following, which is so cool. Coming from Sweden, and we the Smiths had that too. So I yeah. think that's pretty awesome. And they are very passionate, and they're so loyal. And I love them all, uh, not only the, the Latin crowd, but like all of our fans over here in America are great. And uh, it's cool to see that there's a lot of, you know, they're not kids anymore. They're grown-ups yeah. now, and they have grown up together with us. I'm a kid still. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just... 19 so i don't know what <laughs> anyway i mean i know these people now the yeah. most people in the front row i know them by their first name at least and um recently we got this letter from one of our fans um she met her fiance at a show and they are now getting married and it's all because of us so she wrote us a really nice letter how she was so thankful that now cool. they can be two and they're celebrating life and everything together and i have a kid in mexico named maya with a j and they also met at the sound show got married and had a baby and yeah it's pretty awesome to to um, experience stuff like that last question you are a savvy media professional we talked a little bit about your your show that you participated in in sweden last year oh, yeah. You have all of this knowledge. Is there a, a challenge as far as like writing songs and, and just sort of stripping away all of the sophistication that you have of the media world and that sort of thing in order to just, I don't know, this may sound corny, but just to be really rock and roll when it's time to put your songwriter hat on? No, you know what? I'm struggling. <laughs> I remember when I had the meeting, I'm not struggling with that. I'm, I'm struggling to stay normal in some situations, you know, like people think, I'm a little bit too much sometimes, but I remember I had that meeting for that TV show and they asked me to be to be part of it. It's very flattering to, to be asked to be part of it. And uh, I remember at the meeting, they were like afterwards, like, uh, so this personality you're right now, is that something that we can expect on camera? I'm like, dude, I'm doing my best to keep it as cool, as, as right. calm and as normal <laughs> and as not crazy. I'm chilling right now. Exactly. Okay. I'm really pushing it for not being over the top. So they're like, oh, that's great. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it is. But no, for me, it's always been the opposite. Like I have to not be so rock and roll sometimes. So that comes very natural to me, I guess. You, you get a little uh, tabloid attention oh, in uh, Stockholm, yeah. cruising around. I, I don't even live in Stockholm because of uh, that sometimes. But yeah, definitely during that time. It, yeah, I've been on tabloids many times. Very cool. Well, you got a show to do, so we should probably let you go, do your warm-up thing, whatever. Oh, that. man, I'm I sure really enjoy being here. Involve some Jack Daniels or something. I love Jack. Maker's Mark is my thing, though. Maker's. Mm -hmm. Let's fist bump for that. Booyah. <laughs> Booyah. Uh, Maya Iverson, great to meet you. Thanks for spending some time with us. I really Have a great pleasure. show tonight, and Thank we'll look you. forward to seeing you on Down the Road. So cool meeting you. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you.